An ABC News update is just minutes away. 89 WLS and online at WLSAM.com. Fell asleep last night with the TV on. Oh, what a dream I had. Dreamed I went and answered every single one of those late night mail order ads. And four to six weeks later, much to my surprise, the mailman came to my front door and I couldn't believe my eyes when he brought the Pigeomatic and the pocket fisherman. 523. Too. Illuminated, illustrated history of life. Boxcar Willie with a Ginsu knife. A band and a garden weasel, too. And that's not all. Tie-dye day glow souvenir shirt from Six Flags. Oh, man. Our phone number, 591-8900. Uh, I, I was just looking up at the monitor. I just saw a row. It just freaked me out. Uh, 524. Uh, you remember that uh, the woman in the school bus that got bullied by the kids? Up in upstate New York. Uh, this was like about 10 days ago. Uh a bunch of middle school kids, 7th, 8th graders. She was on the school bus, and they were just verbally abusing her for 10 minutes straight. And one of the kids had his little cell phone camera and caught caught all this on tape. How does a kid know how to work one of those cell phone cameras? That's what I want to know. So anyway, they, they did it for 10 minutes. And uh, the video went viral. The woman started doing some interviews. And one of the blogs did a story about it, and the blog wanted to raise like five thousand dollars to send this woman on a vacation. She was like sixty-eight years old, made about fifteen thousand a year. And as of yesterday, they raised over six hundred thousand dollars, which is a lot of money. Which is a heck of a lot of money. And for that type of money, I'll sit here for ten minutes and you can abuse me all you want, because you do it for three hours. So anyway, yesterday they announced four of the kids, four of the seventh grade students have been suspended for a year. Uh, and they've also, they also have to do 50 hours of community service with senior citizens. Uh, good luck, senior citizens there. Uh, and they're going to be transferred to a special alternative education program. Because the district is legally required to give them an education. And if it's anything like they have in the Chicago area, it's probably going to be kids are going to sit in front of a computer and learn from a computer. That's what it's going to be. Not a real good education. Did what the did the kids do something wrong? Yes. Should they be punished? Yes. Should they send them to one of these alternative schools? I'm not sure of that. That may be too harsh. Make them serve some time. Because you wonder what's going to happen to the kids. Because they're really not going to learn much at these things. It, all it is, is is a holding pen. But 10 minutes. $676,000 is the total amount right now. That's a lot of money. That is that is a ton of dough. See, people people have a heart. But six hundred seventy-six thousand dollars, and the website that started this whole deal, the blog, they get a percentage. They have some deal. They whatever comes in, they they get to uh, they keep a certain percentage of, of of the money that's raised. And Uncle Samuel takes some money too. And New York, there's well, there's a New York state tax. She'll lose on that. She'll be lucky when all all is said and done. She still has her teeth left when it's all over. But would you take would you take ten minutes of verbal abuse for six hundred seventy six thousand dollars? That is that that is that is the question. And, and she's a nice woman too, very nice woman. But still, I don't know about the kids. The punishment for the kids. 
And I'm all for punishment, but I, I think I would have tried to come up with something else. Tom in South Holland. Tom, you're on 89 WLS. Morning, Jake. How you doing today? What's on your mind? Uh, I don't know about the punishment, whether it's too harsh or not. As far as I'm concerned, it wouldn't be too harsh if it was a relative of mine getting abused like that by kids who obviously have no home training whatsoever and uh, etiquette or manners or how to treat uh, and respect older people or any people for that matter. And so, yeah, this is going to be a wake-up experience and maybe with this kind of a punishment for the rest of their lives, they'll learn what, it, what how they should interact with society. I, I, I saw that video myself. I can't believe these kids because when we were raised, we were raised a lot differently. And when we I raised my child, uh, all we ever got back from people when he was out in public was what a nice child he was, how well behaved he was. And uh, these parents should be ashamed, embarrassed. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I let the punishment fit the crime. Like you said, I don't know if it's too harsh or not, but all you want to do is wake them up with a real big, you know, uh, proverbial uh, slap and saying, this is not the way you interact with society. And I understand that, but I also worry about what happens when you, when you take the kid out of the regular school system and, and put him in one of these, you know, uh, special deals where they're really not getting the regular learning they should get. I, I can understand that. But then again, you go back to the fact that these parents are raising feral children. And if, the, if this is what they are, and if you're taking them out of the regular system, they've done something wrong. And how are they going to understand that they've done something wrong if you don't really instill it in their minds? I mean, a lot of times when we didn't get the punishment we deserved because, well, for whatever reason, we don't know, we're laughing and joking and saying, boy, we got by with that one. Yeah. And right. we don't want these kids to run around saying, boy, we got by with that one. Let's go out and do it again. All right. Thank you, Tom. Bye. Bye-bye. 591-8900. It's 530 right here on 89 WS.